Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, one way to have a fun party and take some stress out of the hosting is to offer two cocktails, one that's alcoholic, maybe and one without. Finding fun drinks for a gathering or party any time of the year can be difficult, but today we take the guesswork out and offer you two refreshing beverage ideas. That's right. Our favorite mixologist, Jack Teach, is back, and he's stirring up some refreshing ideas for us. Good to see you, Jack. Nice to see you, ladies. Uh, you know... They say gin isn't just for breakfast, but since we're here, we may as well start <laughs> off with that. One of my favorite classic cocktails is the aviation cocktail. And 10 times out of 10, when people say they hate gin, this is the way to convert them. All I right. like well, that. We're gonna 10 put times it, out of 10. Yep. We're going right. to put it to the test because neither of us are huge gin fans. Yeah, we both feel like it's drinking a Christmas tree. Well, yeah. you know, it's, it's all about the right combination of flavors, right? So we okay. have a, just a couple ounces of a really classic London gin, and then we'll take it down a different path with some maraschino liqueur from Italy. So oh, so is that cherry? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's sort of cherry, but more of the almond flavor. Okay. And then this is called uh, uh, creme de or creme de violette. Okay. I'm gonna and hold this so we can get a shot. It looks like it looks like um, water with purple food coloring in it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, if you use too much of it, it tastes exactly like syrup. magic potion. And it, <laughs> but that's why I just adjust a little bit, and uh, nice and it really okay. sets off all of the wonderful bright flavors. Hmm. And so then you can. Now take a little sip of the that's cocktail. That's all that's in there. So how many Just, ingredients was that? It's really only uh, four ingredients if you count a little bit of simple Doesn't syrup. Doesn't smell okay. like gin. Mm -hmm. Can David Caruso taste it? Of course. Come over around from behind the camera. We'll let, since he's a party planner, we'll that's let him good. taste it and see what he Isn't thinks. Isn't that lovely? I do mm -hmm. not taste a Christmas tree at all. No. Okay, I'm going to hand him this. And I love you don't gin. Have, oh. oh, you do? Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, and I love <laughs> gin. There's one in every crowd. Here's the third, this is a sorry. You get your own. Oh, this yeah, is a shot cheers. for me. All yeah. right, there you go. Cheers. He loves all right, gin. Cheers, take a sip. Well, then you're really going to like it. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So then moving on, we have an idea for a really interesting, because, you know, non-alcoholic cocktails or mocktails mm, can be really delicious. boring or really sweet. There he yeah. goes. He's like, yeah, oh, I'm going to take a drink. Bye, drink See you later, David. We'll find you in the princess cutout later. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, a really fun way to make your NA beverages more interesting is to use some really exciting flavors. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine fresh jalapeno and fresh cucumber together here. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to muddle it up Wait, a little are you bit. leaving the seeds in that jalapeno? You know, I like a little more spice, but okay. if, if you're not a big fan of the spice, feel free to take the seeds out. If you don't like spice at all, use a green bell pepper. You'll oh, get the oh, pepper yeah. flavor without any of the heat, and it'll work just as well for okay. you. Okay. Now, I've also put in a little bit of fresh lemon juice, and this is a green tea syrup that I made. Oh, so, you well, made it? I did. You know, With it's simple syrup? And really easy. It's just a little bit, you know, like double strength green tea, add some sugar, shake it up, and it's, it's done. That's mm -hmm. cool. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to mix all of this together and give it a good shake. Because we want... We want shake to, and not stir. Shake and not stir. We want to break up as much of that fruit as possible. And dilute it down a little bit. Get I it, love go. it. As you're doing that, who's the dog on your on your forearm there? That is my Doberman Samson. <laughs> we gotta just hold it out so people can see it. Our viewers I love, love that. A lot of our viewers love tattoos. That's so. awesome. He's bigger. Oh, in you person. gotta hold it again. Our producer said. All right. All right. He's All right. bigger now, so that was when he was a baby. That's yeah, Samson. Now, now there he's he is. About oh, straighten pounds. out. Oh, oh, there where he had it. Hold on. There right. you go. There he is. Nice. Isn't that a cool tattoo? That's super cool. All right. So anyway, now that we have this good and shaken up, we're going to strain it over some fresh ice. You want to make sure you use a fine mesh strainer because those little bits of pepper and cucumber are not very pleasant those to seeds. get in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so save So then yourself. once we have that, we're going to just tap it off with a little bit of sparkling water. If you want it to be even sweeter, you can use 7-Up uh, or Sprite, oh, something okay. of that nature. Okay. But you can use flat water or sparkling only? Yeah, you, you can use either. You know, okay. if you prefer your tea, like a tea-based beverage, you know, iced tea, then maybe try the, the flat water. I like okay. a little bubble, and uh, I think that it really adds something to it. Then That's we garnish with a little fresh cucumber. I feel like I could actually be a fan of a non-alcoholic drink because it looks so darn good. Absolutely. I need to mix okay. it up. And, oh, since, yeah. I'm, and up. since I'm driving, I, I figure this one's a safe one for Perfect. me. Perfect. Yeah, time. exactly. Oh, that is so Cheers. good. Cheers. This is Cheers. extremely refreshing. Holy smokes, I love it. Mm. Isn't Seriously. It nice? you know, it's, it's a lot of try this at interesting home. flavors that go together. And, you know, mm. for example, I'm going to a baby shower later, and my poor friend Marissa has been aching for something interesting to drink for the last eight months. Well, now we have something to, to that's share. Cute. Yeah, you this know what? That's phenomenal. really nice. That, that would be great to serve. That's a great idea. Showers, yeah. things like that. Baby oh. showers in particular, where people watching um, mm. be, and careful not to drink. Both of the recipes for the gin cocktail as well as mm -hmm. this non alcoholic drink. Right. We'll be on our website a little bit later. Um, so make sure you.
you check them out. This one is worth trying. Wait, if you did add alcohol, what would you add to this? Yeah, good question. You know, you could really go in any direction with it, but I think I would go with tequila. Oh, tequila. yeah. Tequila, maybe throw a little salt around the rim. Okay. And then, uh, and then you'll have yourself a little, a little. We have like a couple, a couple seconds left, and I want to ask you because I always wonder about this: what makes a really good bartender? Because I think you're a good conversationalist, but I also feel like sometimes bartenders have to deal with like drunk, pe annoying people. You know, <laughs> the regulars. <laughs> He's got a lot of those at hi hat. That's where you can find Jack. You, there, there's always a lot of characters, but you know, I find patience. You know, it's the same at home. You just take ten seconds and just and just wait because it's, it's take all a deep it, breath. You know, and, do you feel like you have a psychology degree after being a bartender? I feel like I could probably get a head start if I wanted to pursue <laughs> that pretty easily. Um, but you know, just listening to what people like, it, it's what makes them want to come back and see mm -hmm. you again. And mm -hmm. if people mm -hmm. love Moscow Mules, you make great ones at hi hat too. We we sure do, and yeah. they're always on special. Yeah. So, Are there certain days of the week that you work? I All of them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask Jack to make you a drink at Hi Hat. It's a fantastic place to hang out. These cocktails were fantastic. We're Excellent. sharing the recipes to on our website. Thanks, Jack. Lovely. Thank yeah. you. Isn't this great? Yeah. yeah. The jalapeno in there is really, mm -hmm. cheers. Super. Really good. Thank you, Jack. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. All right, so up next on the show.